everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, my name is Rico Casabuena with my groupmate Jose Alvaro. And for today's episode of our Internet of Things Laboratory, we'll be having our final output and project, which will be involving applications of Raspberry Pi for our IoT lecture experiment or final exam. So this will include home home industrial automation project using Node-RED and Raspberry Pi. So presented by yours, truly Rico Mika Sabuena with my groupmate from ECE41 of the De La Salle University Das Molinas Electronics Engineer. Submitted to Engineer Longares, our IoT lecturer professor. So for our objectives, we aim to create a project about, about home or industrial automation using Raspberry Pi as hardware and Python or Node-RED as the programming tool. So for this final project, we'll be using Node-RED as our programming tool. So second, we aim to show and present the project in a blog format report and submit it for IoT lecture. And lastly, we, the, experiment, the experimenters, must use an LED, Node-RED as programming tool, and a Raspberry Pi 4 as our microcontroller. So now to start this final project with just brief of background of our programming tool, we'll be having our Node-RED overview. So Node-RED is a flow-based tool written in Node.js. It has a low memory footprint and runs on the Raspberry Pi, making it an ideal system for home automation projects. Moreover, Node-RED can directly access data from microcontroller boards like Arduino, Raspberry Pi that we will be using later on in our final project, uh, which works using the predefined port number or pin number. So for the requirements, materials, or components required for home automation using Node-RED, we'll just be needing a Raspberry Pi as our microcontroller, LED with different colors, okay? breadboard as well as a jumper wires as well as our connector for our 5 volts voltage supply so now let's start with the project principle overview so in this project we are going to build a home automation system that can control lights and can monitor temperature and humidity graphically on gauge using node-red as our programming tool which control interface is created on the dashboard so just to give you to give you a vision on how our project will work, we'll be involving a humidifier that we will be controlling using our Node-RED programming as well as our aircon that we can automate uh, the working principle by controlling our uh, devices or say by using our dashboard to control these appliances inside our houses. So using our Node-RED as our programming tool, uh, which is also used to uh, initiate the process in our microcontroller, which is our Raspberry Pi, we'll be able to control these uh, home appliances, we'll be able to, to make them automated by controlling them using our dashboard, which can be okay, which can be controlled using our devices, using our cell phones, laptops, regardless if we are inside the houses. Or let's say if we are outside, we can still control this home appliances remotely. So that's a more convenient approach in home automation. Okay? So we're we will be also using so let's zoom this let's zoom this later on we'll be explaining the working principle behind the node red programming to with uh, that we've created okay to be explained by my groupmate so we'll also be considering the automation of the led lights let's say bulbs inside our rooms which are dine, the, the dining area, the bedroom, the living room, and the comfort room, okay? So, we'll also be uh, using Node-RED 
to indicate the date today. So, we can always remember what date it is. Okay? And uh, we'll be explaining later on how it, how the node red programming principle works. Okay? To automate these machines and these appliances. So, we considered four rooms and we'll be uh, automating and we'll be controlling the operation of these LEDs using our node red through our dashboard as well as the home appliances namely the air condition and the humidifier even though we are not we're not inside our houses and we are working remotely okay so this is a big help especially when you're uh, a busy type of person and you're just leaving your houses and you're working outside this is a good tool to uh to promote convenience inside the house and to promote automation with less human interaction, okay? Then for the next setup, we'll be controlling, okay? We'll be controlling the appliances and the light bulbs inside the rooms, inside the four rooms using our dashboard. Just like what I've said, that can be controlled or let's say can be navigated using our cellular phones or using our computers and laptops even though we are outside and we are uh, at our offices working. So here in our dashboard, we'll be, uh, we'll be displaying uh, a message, okay, a greeting message saying good morning, today is Saturday, saying specifically the date for today. And then we will also be able to navigate the dashboard and be able to toggle, okay, switch on and switch off the LEDs uh, in the four different rooms, namely living room, comfort room, dining area, and bedroom. And we can also navigate and control the intensity of the temperature, how cold and how hot the room is or the uh, the operation of the air conditioner using our uh, dashboard because we employed a pulse with modulation principle using our node red programming tool. So just control, uh, just adjust this control tab here, and then the temperature will go lower and will go higher, and vice versa. Same principle with our humidifier, we'll be able to adjust the humidity will be able to increase or uh, decrease the humidity inside the room automatically and even though we are not inside our houses remotely, okay? So that's the principle behind our final project. So in the next video, we'll be explaining how it works and how it is done using our Raspberry Pi and using our electronic components. So for the final project in Internet of Things, we will be using Node-RED as our programming tool. So in here, as we can see, we have the flowchart or the flow diagram in Node-RED. So we have here the press here group, which is the button. So it is connected into four different um, commands which are the audio output, message, then message payload, and show notification. Audio out command is for the audio output, then message is for the message that we will be entering so that uh, a text will be shown. Then for the message payload, it is for the message and audio output command. Then we have here the show notification. Um, once we press the button, uh, the message will be shown at the top right of the dashboard. Then let's proceed to the um, LED or through the lighting with the use of automation. So for the dining area, eh, bedroom, living room, and comfort room, it is uh, connected to the 
LED which will be automated. So for the dining area, it is connected to pin 31 of Raspberry Pi. Then bedroom is connected to pin 38 of the Raspberry Pi. Living room is connected to pin 40. Then comfort room is to pin 32. So these pin configurations right here are for the output. So um, um, once we toggle or turn on the button designated to each room's uh, LED will be uh, turned on. So we can control it through the use of dashboard. Then we have here at the top right, which is the date today. Um, a date will be um, shown at the dashboard, which will be very important when it comes to home automation as well. Then for the control, we have here the slider as well. Two sliders which are separated. One slider is for the temperature setting of the home. Then we have here another slider for the humidity as well. So with the use of control, which will be the slider, we will be able to control the temperature and humidity of uh, inside the home so the slider is connected to um, pin 37 of raspberry pi which will be um, uh, in pulse width modulation type so it is important that we choose pulse width modulation as a medium in this uh, setting so, for the control in humidity, it is connected in pin 35 of Raspberry Pi, which is pulse width modulated as well. So, now, um, let's proceed to the dashboard in order to see the um, changes that we do in this flow chart. So, in here, in the dashboard, we see the different groups which will be specifically as the light then the setting group and the controls so for the light we have the living room comfort room dining area and bedroom so we will be having a switch to turn on the light in these rooms then we have here the setting which will be the setting for temperature and humidity and we can control it with the use of the slider in the dashboard. Then in the controls, we, uh, as we can see, we have the date today and the message, good morning, today is Saturday. And then once we press here, um, it will be able to um, show a notification at the right, top right of the dashboard and an audio output will be integrated as well so now let's proceed to the application so let's proceed in the application in the circuit using the node red dashboard so in here in the circuit we have raspberry pi and different leds so the led is connected to the raspberry pi pins that we mentioned a while ago so there are six LEDs. So the four LED is used for the living room, comfort room, dining area, and bedroom. Then the two LEDs uh, at the leftmost is for the temperature and humidity setting, which will be pulse modulated. So let's try to um, turn on the LED for the living room using the dashboard. So as we can see, once we toggle the switch, the LED turns on. Then the comfort room it turns on as well. Then dining area. Then lastly, bedroom. So now let's try to turn it off as well. Then as we can see, it turns off. Then for the temperature, we will be using a slider 
which will be pulse width modulated. So um, the temperature uh, increases as we slide the controls. So um, it is represented by the uh, red and green LED for the temperature and humidity. So now let's try to turn it off or lower down the uh, light. Upon pressing the button, an audio output will be integrated and a notification will be shown at the top right. So here is the home automation application. So now proceeding with our conclusion with the final project that we've done using our Raspberry Pi and using our Node-RED as our programming tool with the help of the other electronic components, namely LEDs, okay, which serve as indicators for the operation of the appliances and operation of the bulbs inside each of the rooms in our houses, we are able to uh, depict or mimic how home automation is being programmed using our Node-RED and using our Raspberry Pi. So, as a conclusion, Node-RED is a visual tool for non-programmers to work with the IoT or with the Internet of Things, and it can be used to build applications faster, take note, and reduce the go-to-market time for IoT products. It can also be used to easily interface hardware and devices, APIs, and other online services together in new and interesting ways, just like what we did a while ago, Using a Node-RED programming tool and using our electronic components as well as our dashboard, we were able to realize that we can uh, have an automation inside our homes, inside our houses, and we can still regulate the use of our appliances, how they function, and how they operate using our dashboard. And we can all, we can do all of these things even though we are not inside the comfort of our houses. So that's the, the essence of home automation, making everything convenient and easy for us, even though there is minimal or uh, less human interaction, which is the job of electronics engineers. So again, my name is Rico Mika Subuena with my groupmate, uh, Jose Alvaro. And I hope you learned a lot from our final project and for our Internet of Things episode for today. And I hope we'll be seeing you on our next episode. So thank you and bye for now. See you!